the metaverse quite the trend nowadays that's why today we're going to bring you another one of those projects that is very close to this concept ladies and gentlemen today we'll be talking about world wide web Hello everyone, we're on the Plitwarn channel and I'm Bruno, a host from the Crypto Herd and today we're going to emerge in another one of those metaverse-like games but this time in 2D with a retro style. Let's get started! World Wide Web, a pixelated MMORPG metaverse currently in alpha where you as a player can go around and play mini games that were built by other members of the community. Okay, a very interesting feature in this metaverse is if you actually own a CryptoPunk or a CyberKongs, you can actually bring to this game and it can become your avatar. So NFTs from other projects are going to have utility inside World Wide Web. The same goes for your battle pets. So if you actually own a Mooncat or a Crypto Toad, you can also bring it to this game and it can become your battle pets. Because in this game you're either like socializing inside this metaverse like game or you're playing mini games that were built by other people and doing quests related to these mini games that were also built by the community or you're doing PvP and PvP consists in battling with your pets against other players pets, okay? Or if you actually want to contribute to this metaverse, you can become a land owner, okay? For the price of 1.8 E, you can buy a small apartment, which is like the smallest land plot, and you can build yourself there uh, some mini game for other members of the community with quests, or you can build there some business like a bar or a nightclub or a store to sell some items because besides your avatar and uh, your battle pad you're actually going to have lots of items like cars, clothes, furniture or even overboards okay the possibilities are really endless so guys this is just like sandbox but with this retro style and in 2D okay exactly like sandbox or the central land digital world filled with mini games built by the community and um, digital businesses so guys it's actually time to test the game you can actually play World Wide web through your browser which is awesome let's see what alf has to offer to the player and i'm already talking with the npc bluma good morning wake up today is the big day this is my avatar if I press E, I'm gonna open up the menu where I can connect my wallet. Right here, you can connect your uh, MetaMask. Let's see what else can we do. This reminds me of Pokemon, you know, the classic one. Today, you're going to meet Bob Boo. Wait, you can't just walk out into town without your phone. Your phone has your smart wallet on it. Okay, so. This is going to be my first item. This is our first area of the game. I really like the graphical style, to be honest. Retro, old school vibe. The music, it also has this uh, retro style. Very good first impression so far. Oh, really nice. As you can see, like every area is, is very unique. So we have to find uh, Boku, right? Is that the name of the NPC? Give over your NFTs, punk. Who's this? Is this Sengoku? Sengoku here is a villain. He's stealing NFTs. So he's uh, bullying this poor metaverse villager. A brave man dies once, a coward a thousand times. Amazing! Look at the epicness of this sentence. So we're going to fight here uh, the metaverse in Sengoku. Power level 9721. Tunalize. Okay, not sure how this works. So I guess this is our PvE and in the future PvP is going to work through these Pokemon-like battles. So we're going to keep attacking him with fractional lies. Ah! This done! Super effective! Whoa, we're really skilled, that was amazing. So we saved the day, we're the heroes of the metaverse. So actually we can uh, check our current quests, okay, in queue. And we're going to see the quest log. Right now we only have the follow the villager one. So let's follow the villager. Bandits keep coming to our village, they steal our sake and our NFTs. You can pay in NFTs, we got some rare ones and sake, if you like. 
I'll help you, but if you say they are 100, I will need the help of other samurai. I know of one who dwells nearby. I'll be waiting here for you. Okay, there's Roku here. And another Sengoku from the metaverse, but this one uh, is purple. So actually for this guy to help us, we have to help his farmer friend or something. Actually, there's one thing I noticed about this game is that when you have a quest, the game never tells you uh, where to go. Okay, so you always have to wander around and look for your quest goals. Okay, so this could be like a way of encouraging players to actually explore the metaverse instead of just jumping from quest to quest. And we found Whipku, someone with your spirit must be a warrior. I too was once a warrior full of fervor and strength. Here you go, the story of life of Whipko was a great warrior, but now he's just a farmer. And only after we harvest 20 beans he's going to help us. Okay, so this is how you farm beans in the metaverse. Okay, we completed the mini game once and we need to do it 19 times more. A few inches later. So guys, actually now I'm bored to death. One eternity later. And we have finished finally the 20 beans quest. And now the metaverse and Sengoku is following us. Oh, because we helped him with his farm, so now he's going to help us. Come back when you found the samurai. So I guess this guy isn't the samurai still. <laughs> you a warrior? Prove this to me and I'll give you NFTs. So we're fighting against creator 721. And we actually have a new attack. We also have bean sprouts. Suck a smash. What a nice move, and it actually dealt lots of damage. So let's actually try, I think Bean Sprouts is not very effective, so let's try this one. Okay, and I think we're gonna get our ass kicked with a Sake Smash. Yeah, there, there it is, we're dead. So I think we have like to level up, and only after we level up we're able to beat this guy. Because he's like level 20 and we're like level 15, so I think I'm still not ready. Let's uh, try to go to another area and see what else does this metaverse has to offer us. Hey, you must be on the way to wet coast. I actually love how this game has like lots of references to crypto. Head on to the right, you can't miss it. Let's go to the Raptidurium coast. We have here another NPC, so I think every time they have like a green name, they're NPCs. Sometimes we have to give up on people, not because you don't care, but because they don't. Jennifer Green. Wise advice. Cafe Weeds. Let's go to Cafe Weeds. You need 50 money to buy the gas resist mask. 100 in stock. Okay, so basically this is like a shop where you can buy items to use in the metaverse. And what's this? Oh nice, so this is like a portal. Oh no, it's a different city. Nice, so we have like portals. You have your Matthews here. I think we already saw this guy before. So is this the guy from Matrix? Ah, okay, so instead of Morpheus, is Meteus. Another reference to Eve. <laughs> we are but pawns in this game. Make sure you pick up the ID. Picked up a fake ID. This should get me into the club. About the Matrix. Great movie, by the way. If you agree with me, Hit that like button. What's this? Cash. Hey, welcome to the chimney. Can buy drinks from the barman or find something harder. Oh, really nice. I, li I like it actually. Really interesting every area of the game. Let's check another area. Arcade. What can we do here? Just like an arcade. This is like an item. Oh, we got some Amber Ethereum node. And we actually can't play these games, unfortunately. I would like to play some arcade games. So I guess this is another shop. So here you can buy a hoverboard. I guess it's going to increase like your walking speed. But you need to earn money. So I guess there's going to be like some activities where we're going to be able to earn money so you can spend it on these items. You also have the drone, but we don't have money. <laughs> we only have one gold with technologies. Let's check it out. <laughs> this is solid stakes <laughs> guys another great reference to metal gear solid you need to sneak past the guards without them spotting you be careful they move pretty quick i'll meet you at the end of the hall oh and he moves with the cardboard box 
So for all of you that didn't play Metal Gear Solid, it's like a stealth game and one of the ways of avoiding your enemies was hiding under the cardboard box. So great reference right here. So this is like a stealth mini game, we have to avoid the guards, okay. Very Metal Gear Solid like. So let's see who can be caught. Ah, we got caught. Guards. Ah, we got caught. Ah, we got go caught by the last one. Okay, let's go now. Oh, we moved to the other side. And we made it! Okay, kid, let's blow them up. First, I'm going to leak the source code onto the internet. Hit it, quick, let's get out of here. And it's over, another minigame completed. World Wide Web, here it is. A play to earn and create to earn game. Play to earn because you, as a player, can wander around and play mini games and explore the metaverse and complete quests and be rewarded for doing so. And as a landowner, you can actually build your own mini games for the community because in this project, I think 90% of the content is going to be created by the community and you're going to be able to create your own mini games for the community or create your own digital business, okay, and get some passive income like that. And digital business can be bars, vendors and stores, stores because there's lots of items in this game and you can actually have your own digital store inside the metaverse and earn some crypto like that. Okay, on top of that, they're going to enable a future feature which is going to be smart contract integration. So if you're a landowner, you're going to be able to integrate your own smart contracts. And one of the examples of the smart contracts can be, for example, minting a moon cat inside World Wide Web. So personally, I actually like to explore the metaverse. I got a very good first impression. When it comes to the mini games, I think they're a bit basic and... They're a bit uh, boring from my perspective, but that's my personal opinion because when I play video games, I actually prefer something a bit more complex, okay? And obviously these metaverse-like games can't offer that, they can only offer these mini games, but still, I had lots of fun exploring the metaverse and I really enjoyed the references, all the references to crypto, the matrix, Metal Gear Solid. That was really funny to see all these references inside the video game. Okay, those are all great projects I actually played when I was a kid and it was really nice to see these here. So if you guys have any questions about World Wide Web, I'm going to be really happy to answer them. Leave them in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe for more NFT gaming content. So thanks for watching and I see a Crypto Maniacs in the Metaverse!